about digestion in the buccal cavity. Buccal cavity means the mouth cavity. Okay. So let us discuss about how digestion happens in our mouth. See inside our mouth there are tongue, teeth, then see one of the most important glands are present inside the mouth. That glands are called the salivary glands. Are you clear? The glands are called salivary glands. The salivary glands produce or secrete a liquid that is known as saliva. Salivary glands produce saliva. This saliva consists of an enzyme. That enzyme is known as chylene. P silent. Okay, you have to read P silent. Tylen. P T Y A L I N. Tylen. Tylen is otherwise known as salivary amylase. What is the other name? Salivary amylase. Are you clear, children? Tylen is otherwise known as salivary amylase. This salivary amylase or tylen help for the digestion of starch into sugar. Cell for the digestion of starch into sugar. Are you clear? It help for the digestion of starch into sugar. Okay. See this is very important. Which is the enzyme present in the saliva? Tylen. Very good. Very good. Well done. What is the other name for uh, tylen? Can you say? Yes, come on. Okay, very good. Salivary amylase. This tiny or salivary amylase help for the digestion of the starch which we have taken into come on sugar. Okay, starch is a long chain molecule which is broken into a, a smaller molecule that is sugar. Are, are you clear? And the saliva, the saliva mix the food thoroughly in the mouth. And our teeth, okay, the teeth help for just mastication of food, chewing the food, whereas the tongue help for mixing the saliva thoroughly with the food. Okay, hope you understood this part. From this part you can understand, you can understand that the digestion starts from the mouth itself. Okay, digestion starts from the mouth itself and the mouth, inside the mouth there are salivary glands. The salivary glands produce saliva. Okay. The saliva consists of an enzyme. What is the name of the enzyme? Okay, come on. Yes, very good. Tylen. What is the other name for tylen? Tell me. Okay. Salivary amylase. Okay. This salivary amylase help for the conversion of starch into sugar. Hope you understood this part. Okay. Now let us study about different taste region. There are different taste regions in our tongue. We are able to, can you say children which are the different tastes? Yes, sweet, sour, okay, bitter, salty. These are the different tastes, isn't it? See our tongue, different parts of our tongue sense different tastes. Are you clear? See all the tastes are not sensed by the same part. Okay. There are different parts. Say for example, see sweet. Sweet taste is sensed by the tip of the tongue. Tip of the tongue sense the sweet and just behind the sweet region it can be see salty taste which is sensed by the region just behind the tip of the tongue and behind the salty region you can sense sour taste and the bitter taste is sensed at the back side of the tongue 
bitter taste is sensed at extreme bad side you see extreme bad side it can sense the bitter taste so from this what you can understand we thought that the entire part of the tongue yes come on entire part of the tongue sense all the taste no the sweet can be sensed at the tip of the tongue are you clear and this side the first side soon after the tip that can sense salty taste and behind the salty taste we can sense the sour and the bitter taste can be sensed at the extreme back of the tongue are you clear now let us see what else in the mouth okay very good teeth see let us study about teeth now see soon after birth as uh, after 5 6 years sorry after 5 6 months the teeth develops that teeth we call it as milk teeth the first set of teeth which is formed during our childhood they are called milk teeth when you reach around 4 5 years okay this milk teeth so slowly falls down and at that place permanent teeth develops so there are two types of teeth such as milk teeth and permanent teeth okay milk teeth and permanent teeth milk teeth develops when you are very small okay that is after birth after 8 months or 1 year the small teeth appears now they are called milk teeth and after 3 4 years when you are slowly started growing what happens the milk teeth falls and the new teeth develops there they are called permanent teeth now let us see the permanent teeth permanent teeth are of four type one is incisor okay incisors okay incisors number 2 canines canines okay another one yes very good three premolars and four can you say fourth one yes molars these are the four types of permanent teeth 